So when you have practiced a lot and you feel comfortable, you're ready to serge your boxers. And you're going to serge one layer at a time. So you separate the two legs, turn on the serger, and color doesn't matter because the serger is actually not going to be seen, it's going to be hidden. So it doesn't have to match your fabric. You're going to line the first edge, and, and by the way, you're only going to start with the straight sides. So at first we're going to search the top, the two sides, and the bottom. And I'm going to see how that goes to decide whether we should have you search the curves or not. Because there's two ways we can do the curves. So we're going to start at the top, we're going to line it up on this edge, and make sure the machine is on and that you have a tail. Press on the foot, and the serger should pull it through. Now you want to keep it close to the edge so it's just cutting off a little bit. You don't want to cut off too much or your boxers might not fit. So the rule of thumb is no more than a centimeter. And you have to guide it. The serger's going to pull it crooked if your hands don't guide it and keep it straight. Now this is a big piece. Another thing you have to watch is that this doesn't come up underneath and you don't see and it cuts it. Because that blade is very sharp and will cut. So with your hand, keep checking underneath, keep stopping, especially when you're doing a large piece, and checking that nothing has come underneath. You just want to serge this one side. Now sometimes when you get toward the end, it, it'll tend to go off a bit. You have to be bossy with it and keep it to that edge. With your hands, keep it to the end. Now keep going. You want to have a bit of a tail and cut it so that there's just a couple of centimeters left. And now you're ready to do the next side. So the next side is a curved one, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the side. So the straight side only first. Start, keep it against the edge. Again, you have to force it to stay there. Go a little extra, cut it and have a tail. So I want you to leave the tails on. Every time you serge a new part, you get a new tail. So now I'm serging the bottom. I'm checking underneath. I'm guiding it with my hands, I'm keeping it close to the edge, cutting off just little bits, stopping every so often, checking. Really take your time, because again, you did all the work of designing your boxers and going out and buying your fabric and cutting it out. You don't want to ruin it now on the surface. Keep holding it, keep it against that edge, have a bit of a tail, trim it. And now I'll do the last side on here, which is the last straight side. It's just a short one. And then you're going to do the same thing on your other leg. Do the top, the two sides, and the bottom. And then if you feel comfortable and I feel comfortable, you might try to serge the curves. But we'll see, we'll evaluate that uh, individually with everyone. But if you were to do a curve, this is how you do it. You start at the straight side of the curve, not the curvy side of the curve. Line it up. Have that tail sticking out. And no matter the shape, I have to keep it close to this edge. I only want to cut off a little. So if I change nothing, it's going to continue and cut right down here, and I don't want that. So I have to stretch it straight. I'm almost tricking the serger into thinking it's straight by stretching it and still keeping it near that edge. When I get to the end here, I can hold this tail to help me keep it lined up. Go a little longer, cut it, have a tail, and then the curve just comes right back in. So I kind of surged it like that, and then it comes back. So I'll show you on the other one. And by the way, it doesn't matter if you surge good side up or bad side up. I'm going to surge bad side up so that I can start at the straight side of this curve. So just watch again. Start at the straight side. Keep it against that edge. Once you start to hit that curve, grab it and stretch it. So it's a little bit more maneuvering, and that's why if you don't feel comfortable, just don't do it. Either A, I can surge it for you, or B, we can zigzag it on the machine later. But basically, all the straight sides need to be surged, and then keep your tails on, bring it to the steamer, steam them flat, and then trim the tails after it's steamed to about 2 centimeters. Don't completely cut them off, because then they're going to unravel.